What is going on guys? I want to talk about Globus Hystericus, some of the symptoms of that, and it's just a common symptom of anxiety. I get comments about it all the time uh, below my videos. You know, Trey, I've got this lump in my throat. It's hard for me to swallow. Uh, is there something wrong with me? Do I have throat cancer? Guys, let's just, you know, let's hit the brakes on this a little bit and let's, let's dive a little deeper. This first started becoming a known thing uh, a long time ago whenever there was science being done on women that had menopause and hormonal you know, changes and issues. Now what does that mean? That means that they were under higher levels of stress and this is what caused it. The tightness feeling in their throat, the fullness sensation, the globus sensation that you get. Um, and generally this will happen you know, right around your Adam Apple area. Okay, And it can be a little higher, a little lower. Everybody's different so uh, bear with me on that. Um, I dealt with this uh, off and on throughout my anxiety. Towards the end of my anxiety, uh, I started to just realize, understand that that's what it was, and I stopped worrying about it. But in the beginning, I was very scared. You know, I, I was hard. For, I felt like it was hard for me to swallow. And you know, if you have bad anxiety, health anxiety especially, um, we tend to uh, really blow these things up and really focus in on things. So, what's going on there is just basically muscle tension, and it's going on in your neck. There's no real scientific explanation other than that. Uh, there's been research done on it and basically they just correlate it with stress um, or relate it to stress. Uh, there isn't no 100% uh, explanation. They said they can't really fine tune the reasons on why this actually happens. It's just kind of something that happens with the stress response that our body does. So just keep that in mind, all right? So chill out. Now, whenever I was going through this, what did I do? I started Googling, right? Uh, got on Google and I skipped the term globus hystericus or the symptoms that were associated with it and went right for the meat and potatoes and went right for throat cancer. Let me uh, look at all these symptoms. Yeah, I have a fullness in my throat. Um, it's hard for me to swallow. feel like I can't get a deep breath. Um, I keep feeling in and around and now I've convinced myself that there's a lump there that's not even there and it's just my Adam's apple. <laughs> so. I just basically convinced myself, you know, having the health anxiety that I did, that I had a throat cancer, all right? I was a very rare case, you know, with me. I I was 23 years old, and apparently I had, you know, beaten all the odds, and I had throat cancer. So, guys, we have these irrational thoughts. We are very super high aware of our bodily sensations and actions. Um, this, you know, this goes with all the symptoms of anxiety, whether that be chest pain, you know, or just, you know, back pain, IBS, all these, all these symptoms, guys, they're natural responses from our body, you know, to deal with stress. And one of them is this lump in your throat feeling. Now, think about this. I, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but I used to think about some of the breakups that I went through whenever I was in high school, when I was really into a girl. And I remember that feeling that I felt whenever they left me or broke up with me, or whenever I saw them with somebody else. Um, there was that fullness in my throat then. Have you ever tried not to cry in front of somebody or tried not to cry, you know, in any, in some situation? And it was so hard, right? You're fighting back those tears, but there's something else that happens when you can't cry. Your throat actually starts to expand and swell, it seems like. It's not really happening, but it's just a stress response. And I started to actually put two and two together. I was like, man, you know, I got that same kind of feeling whenever I got really hurt or when something bad happened. Or whenever this high, stressful, anxious situation arose out of nowhere. I mean, it was acute, you know, globus hystericus. And, but many of us that have health anxiety, anxiety can make this chronic. This can happen over a period of a week or two. So the best way to deal with this, guys, is just to relax, okay? This is short-term relaxation. Do something that you like, you know, your hobbies. Cook a meal, go running. Exercise might be the best thing, honestly. Some of you guys just refuse to do it, but you got to start exercising. You got to start believing me on that. All right, taking my word for it. Now, I'm not going to talk about the long term stuff like eating a right, you know, correct diet and stuff, although you need to be doing those things to correct your anxiety problem. But for short term relief, guys, I'm telling you, you got to do something that's going to make you busy. Exercise is perfect, cooking is great, listening to music is great. Um, going for a walk or uh, go hiking or go do something with a friend. Do something that you love to do, okay? And it'll actually take your mind off of it. And, and you'll notice that it, it relaxes. And as, as that happens, your throat will, you know, seem to relax. So that's my best take on that. So remember, guys, this is just a response, you know, that your body is getting off to, you know, to, to do that fight or flight kind of deal or deal with the adrenaline or just deal with your high stress levels. So, you know, you guys just need to keep that in mind. <clears throat> and stop Googling and stop obsessing over it. Uh, it's just another common symptom of anxiety, all right? 
So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Join the Facebook group down below if you have health anxiety, panic, you know, panic disorder, um, any type of anxiety disorder, honestly. Or if, even, even if you're going through depression, guys, join that group down below. It's a great support group. Also, join the Instagram or follow the Instagram, excuse me, down below. I got a lot of great quotes on anxiety, just stuff to brighten your day and pictures on there. And subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell next to it so you can get updates whenever I have my videos. Like this video, please, if you got something great out of it. And leave me a comment down below. And uh, I know many of you, probably almost all of you that have bad anxiety have experienced this at one point or time in your life. So please let me know your story down below. Did you think it was throat cancer? Did you learn some different ways to deal with it than I described in the video? Just let me know all that down below in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you had a great weekend. Oh, man, we start the work grind back tomorrow. So I hope you uh, can enjoy the last bit of today. Thanks a lot, guys.